in front of me in a movie. So like basically listen to my music like <laughs> and he made me do like the the conduit to that. I thought that was pretty great. Dude. I can like I got every little bit of comedy like the whole way in this movie, dude. I just was dying, dude. I couldn't believe it. What about um the end of the film? Uh, where sun so shun, sunshine kills himself, and then they have like a proper uh, kind of cop ceremony. Except for they don't really give nobody cares. <laughs> and uh, Ray's Ray Wise, who is from uh, like Event Horizon and a bunch of stuff, he plays Captain Andy. And uh, yeah. he's he's like supposed to give a speech, and he's like, "Sorry, guys, like my wife's uh, actually in labor right now, so I can't hang out here all day." <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. And then they he just didn't give a shit about sunshine. It felt like no one did. And they kick the fo- <laughs> his coffin like in the ground, all fucked up, right in front of his wife and daughter. I was just like, man, dude, because Sunshine was one of my favorite characters, dude. I was. <laughs> Even though he was a dick as well, when he talks to the basically the uh, the little handicap the handicap chick dude, and he and she was like, <laughs> like the- <laughs> yeah, I know you're talking about. No, no, yeah. no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Basically, like she comes up to him, she's like, so basically, basically people have their music turned off when they leave their car. And he's like, well, you're so, uh, what did you say? You're so, oh, she, you're- she, said, she, she says, don't you think it's a little weird that, um, that you leave your car, your music on when you leave your car? He's like, don't you think it's a little weird yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that you're, you're sitting in that little chair and you're rolling, you get rolling yeah, around. Rolling around. <laughs> and she tells him to go fuck himself. Dude. The women come off strong in this movie, dude. They just fucking one maces this this one tells him to fuck himself because literally he did fuck himself dude uh, if you get the movie he he he's he's married uh to his wife but he also did gay porn uh that was one of the basically why he he got found out his daughter goes up to the backyard that he dug left the porn right there that he was in like a magazine and and he sees that and that's the end of sunshine he stabs himself in the neck with the shovel because i don't know why he just felt guilty or something i don't know they just did it dude i was just like wow dude but yeah dude at the end of the movie that west was saying uh ray wise dude was a little dick and basically dick uh duke gives a a, a speech because he hears uh Ray Wise and the one eye cop, because uh, one eye cop thinks that Ray Wise saluting to the sky was weird, even though someone was buried in the ground. Like you know what I mean? So <laughs> that was pretty good too. He's like, I think it's a little weird, man. You're you're saluting the sky when this guy's buried in the ground. <laughs> like, and he's like, well, it looks fucking weird if you salute the ground. Look it, and he starts doing it and shit. Like, so. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. But Duke also like flips out, dude, because he did do he did smoke marijuana out of a fish, and you don't know what that shit has mercury, fish scales, and some nasty shit all over it, dude. Uh, and he just starts going on some like deep rant about uh, life and death at the end. Um, what does he say? He freaking says um, that this isn't the end, my brothers. We shouldn't cry for sunshine. We should cry for ourselves. And it gets all deep after that. And the movie kind of gets a little depressing. But the, I like how the movie picks up after all that depressing stuff. And at the end, you just see like them partying and shit. And then it plays Mr. Ozio stuff. Because if you played Mr. Ozio stuff anywhere, you could fucking party to that shit, dude. To be honest. Some nice beats, dude. I've always been a fan of Mr. Ozio aka Mr. Quentin DePew. So if you do hear this episode, uh, you the man, man. <laughs> In my personal opinion, among all Hollywood, you know. So awesome. and then James, uh, and then, yes. Go ahead. I'm uh, just gonna say, well, what would you rate this? Uh, it's got 55 on Rotten, man. Generous. Yeah, right? Um, I'd probably give it like a four. <laughs> I, I I just didn't, I don't know. I wasn't feeling this movie. Is like that I said, I, uh, I don't know if it's because I'm not a stoner or or what. I don't know. 
I feel like this is like a perfect movie for like someone who's just like super high. I feel that. Who would be uh, your rating, uh, Wes? For the uh, for Ron Cops, I give it a seven, seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half. I would say I would say just about that, dude. It, it's not on the scales of like the last movies we were doing in these past weeks, Magnolia, Memento, Chasing Emmy. Never, never going to be in that high standard. Um, so yeah, dude, a seven, if anything, because there's a lot of bad movies out there, dude. A lot of bad movies, and I don't think this is one of them. <laughs> I really don't. Maybe yeah, like you won't be into it. Maybe if you're not a stoner. Uh, maybe if you don't listen to that kind of music, um, I thought the cast was good, dude. If you like, if if you're into pop culture, you'll notice bits and pieces of this cast instantly. Um, for sure. That's I would. That's why it, it, it's a strong seven for sure. Is that all we got for this one? I know it. it, it you probably gotta watch it multiple times. If you don't watch it, yeah, you you know there's less to talk about. If Mister Admiral Atlas was on here and. He would put me and him would could banter about it like all day, dude. We were already doing it before the the podcast happened, um, so that you know, it's definitely a pick or choose type movie between people. Like, not for everyone. Definitely, I'm glad to do this movie because it's not for everyone. I'm probably if I keep on this podcast, I'm probably gonna still do movies that are not for everyone. Uh, so you know, you know how I do, dude. Yeah, no. No, we appreciate that, man. Bringing something new to the mix. That's God. That's cool. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, I'd probably never even heard of this movie. And also, I thought like all the last movies we were doing were super downer movies. I had to like kick it up, if not kick it down a notch. <laughs> so that's why I chose this one. I was like, we gotta flip. We gotta flip the script. And plus, our horror nights were so yeah. I thought this was a good way to to send her. Send her into that. Honey, speaking. How may I help you? Hi, this is Eric Wareheim, Hollywood actor. I'm calling uh, with somewhat of an emergency. Um, uh, yes? Uh, a movie that I'm starring in called Wrong Cops is coming out today on iTunes. I'm having a premiere party down at Taco Bell right off Route 80, and I'm in a real pickle that I need your help with. Okay, what is it? It uh, stars... Me, I hump a car, and a stars an actor named Ray Wise. He's best known for um, doing a shrimp scene where he heals me with um, Dirangus. Also in it is Marilyn Manson. Um, you know, he's like, he's just a little dark devil man. Mm-hmm. Also starring Steve Little, he recently shot his chin off. I mean, my dream would be if you walk into Taco Bell... Everyone would have their, all the employees would have their shirts off and they'd have the cop hats going. So it does feel like you are part of the experience. Yeah, I'm going to need about 5,000 balloons. So when you walk into Taco Bell, all the balloons are released into the streets and, you know, children can play with them and kick them and then... And then through through the balloons, Marilyn Manson will come out and scare the kids. Ah, I'm in a movie. Um, but we only have regular solid colored balloons. Gotcha. You know what What would be nice then is that if Taco Bell, we, we laid out maybe a thousand tostadas and all the tables on each of them, they could kind of artistically render pictures of my face. They could take the olives and make the glasses and the beards. And they can get playful with the sour cream. So when, when everyone does walk in to Taco Bell, they see my face in there instantly. I got to get to iTunes. I got to down this, download this new film. This is going to be an epic Friday. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Spe- speaking of that, James, uh, it's your turn next, right? Yes, it is, actually. So uh, why don't, why don't you... Is it time or is it not yet, right? Or is yeah, it yet? yeah, we can pick it off. Um, I thought I would do something a little light in the in that uh, I feel like it's a nice kickoff point for our spooky horror uh, scary movies, uh, if you will. Um, and it's gonna be uh, I, I wanted to go with uh, Happy Death Day. Oh. Okay. 
Nice. It's a horror. It's a horror comedy, so I think it's a. I think it's a. It's a nice little uh, kickoff. Yeah, time traveling horror. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Groundhog Day on on uh, mixed with uh, Scream. Oh yeah. Happy Death Day. Oh yeah. Uh, any anything else, guys? No. Um. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, five stars, uh, positive review if you have the time. Uh, we play on every single uh, major platform or, uh, that does play podcasts, uh, whether it's iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, so it's, uh, Spreaker, Stitcher, um, tons of other ones that we don't know we're a part of. Please uh Pass us along to your friends. Send them links to all of our episodes or to the episode that you think is our best. And hopefully, uh, if you like what you heard on this episode and you're just stumbling upon us, go back into our archives. We got tons of uh, of uh, podcasts to listen to, episodes to listen to. So definitely check that out. Um, we have an Instagram also. It is drop the mic at drop the mic underscore podcast and you can follow us there me and Wes are both attached to that um, if you want to have a, a, a specific movie that you want us to review that we haven't done yet um, hopefully if you're going to do that it's a scary movie it's a spooky movie because it's spooky season um, definitely uh, you can request it there you can talk to us if you have any questions about what we do feel free to to DM us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. DM us at Drop the Mic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any other news, guys? Did we, or any closing, any closing ceremonies? Uh, just thank you guys out there for our, for listening to this podcast. We appreciate you. Um, and we look forward to, uh, you guys returning next week for happy, oh, yeah. happy death day. Uh, I want to say shout out to Anaris uh, for this week's uh, pick. It's a fun movie. We don't get to do these um, small, smaller films like this too often, so it's always uh, kind of fret and like a fresh take um, to get to, yeah. to review something like this and and get some uh, some uh, much needed exposure to a film that's you know not a not very well known yeah yeah those fun facts dude that would have definitely gave us an extra 10 to 15 minutes on the episode but you know yeah <laughs> i found no some I, I, That's I, the first is this the first time where we have no swan facts i'm pretty sure can we put that on record is yes. that on our, in our goodness i'm pretty sure <laughs> this is the first one where it was just like and don't get me wrong there were facts but it was all stuff that we've already said like that's kind of just common knowledge while watching the, the movie. facts were in the movie yeah like we just <laughs> that's amazing that's good that's good that i i i didn't i just thought maybe there would have been more like you know uh but if not then that's that's cool too dude like it goes to show like there's different stuff and different stuff that we don't know about we don't have all the facts about you know so yep because this movie you know that's cool I mean you guys yeah I can't wait for the next pick Happy Death Day we, that's gonna be fun it's a good one it's gonna be a fun movie is that streaming anywhere for the people at home um I was just looking up right now I don't think it's streaming anywhere at the moment uh let me double check have to rent it, huh? that's fine yeah it's rent probably it. it's probably a few bucks maybe two ninety nine or something yeah, it doesn't look like it's it's available anywhere right now. Yeah, Honestly, the lowest I'm seeing is three ninety nine. All right, guys, uh, make sure you all go watch Wrong Cops if you haven't seen it from IFC Films. It's a fun it's a fun ride. I don't know if you're gonna like it. Don't quote us on that, but uh, <laughs> check it out. Oh, okay, check subscribe out. to uh, IFC their uh, their app through the if you have Apple TV. Um, you can subscribe to their channel for a uh, one month for free. So, always oh, fun to do. Yeah. Do that and watch Ron Cops, guys. Yeah, that's how I did it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sweet. I guess I'll send her off, you know? Yeah, let's oh, yeah. do it. All right. It's been an honor serving with you all. Autobots, roll out. Burr, 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 burr. You should show some respect. This is a funeral, goddammit. Okay, everybody, listen up. I'm sorry. My wife's right in the middle of giving birth, so I'm not going to be able to hang around forever here. 
Um, <clears throat> I have a prepared speech.